All right, on this video, we're going to show you on a double RV trailer light how to get this wiring so it's easy to install your new finallyicansee.com LEDs. We've already removed it from the ceiling, so four screws, no problem. And when you take out these lights, they just take a little pull, and you'll see that they have the wiring from behind here. And they've doubled up some of this wiring. You can see how hot these get. So this uh, is a great time to upgrade to LED lights because you can save so much of your battery and heat and you don't worry about starting a fire. I mean, look at how charred these are. And this trailer's only been in use for a couple of years. So we are going to um, take the positive part of this. So on a switch right here, they have, that's what turns on and off this lighting assembly. And we're going to get, just go through here and trim this off. Make sure that the lights are off so they don't pop any fuses. Alright, so now basically what we want to do is get these wires stripped. And you want to make sure you wear safety glasses so you don't get any of these fine strands or anything in your eye. And I've finished one side here with the LED tape light so you can get an idea of how we're going to actually do it. So you can see that I've laid it out and since it is flexible and bendable, I can actually bend it and I can put the maximum amount of LED light on the existing surface. So now I'm going to show you how to do it on this other side. I'm taking scotch tape and doubling it over on one side so that now I can lay my tape over and I can do a layout and make it real easy to pull the tape up later and this just allows me to bend it and leave it in place so you can see I'm bending it in certain locations I'm leaving room to put the screws back on it and the scotch tape is just temporary so that I can kind of put my tape down where I want it and not have to fight it too much. And you'll see if I want to pull it up. I can kind of readjust it, doing whatever else I want to do. Anywhere there is a little S or like a snake location on the tape, you can actually bend it. So this is why you want to lay it out before you stick it down because it just kind of gives you a good feel for where you want to put it. Get one more piece of scotch tape here. And 
and then my wires are going to actually go right through the existing hole that where the previous wires went. And you can see all these are on the back now. So included in your kit will be a wire nut. So I've already figured out that this wire right here that comes off of the switch is the positive. So I'll put a little wire nut on there. And then use my crimper. A little crimp there and then on my other wires here put those together sure those are on there good now you can see that that makes an incredible difference on the lighting so this LED light will be twice as bright as a LED replacement bulb these are the original bulbs that were in here you can tell that they got too hot and this trailer is just a couple years old so these will use 10% of the energy will produce no heat and then when we want to actually do, now that we have this kind of laid out where we want it, we're going to just take this off. So I'm going to take one section of my tape off that's at the end. And there is a protective layer from the adhesive. So what you want to do is take some of that off. Don't touch the adhesive with your fingers because it will not stick well after that and then just keep taking off the tape a little bit at a time pushing down real firmly So if you do it a little bit at a time, it's very simple to take it off. And this is really good 3M adhesive. So basically once it's on there, you push it down firmly. I like to use a air dryer and heat it up and then push it down one more time and now you've got an incredible amount of LED light in your trailer so whether you're dry camping or you're plugged in anywhere you won't have all that heat trying to melt the plastics and you'll be able to run your batteries a lot longer thanks for watching